So uh, while we start on this one uh, regarding uh, all these things that are behind uh, what's going on across the world and uh, the things that are regarding uh, the ties to uh, deception and uh, the deception used upon our nations to basically overrun them. Uh, this is more based on those people and uh, we can refer to uh, America which is showing signs of martial law uh, tactics uh, used by uh, Hitler more on deception tied from uh, Sun Tzu's out of war itself and uh, while going for mirrors, is uh, what goes from there uh, all I learned from these techniques what he used and uh, what it was to uh, basically overthrow a nation and what I explained to why they were uh, what I saw from there was uh, based on uh, to disarm a nation uh, to over control it uh, take away its rights until uh, that nation doesn't realise its rights are taken you know where you can uh, shit on them basically and all these things uh, were what he would have based on his own nation itself uh, there was no other nation you could explain to uh, the tactics he was using uh, I can't think of anything else you would have uh, used upon and uh, this is what it ties that he was planning to do uh, that to uh, Germany itself uh, nowhere else uh, using these techniques uh, like I said these tactics have uh, seemed to be used uh, the same methods of uh, you know like Sun Tzu and stuff used uh, in regards of uh, using his enemies against them to break them down via deception making his en enemies believe they're allies and then uh, making them break each other down uh, to the uh, smaller enemy uh, the way I see Hitler's textbook guide uh, you know, for our leaders, as was based on uh, Sun Tzu's uh, Art of War, uh, differently applicated. It's uh, based on deception, which it has in common already, uh, to say that it is. And uh, so this is why I'm trying to explain uh, more thoroughly into uh, what uh, Hitler's uh, guide was. And it's tries to overthrow his own nation of our people, uh, like I said. Uh, so I'll leave it on that one uh, to go into. Uh, like I said, uh, what I was going through last night for earlier was uh, mate, basically what he was showing through uh, what I looked for those quotes on Google, which are basically like a textbook guide, like Sun Tzu's Out of War, is it showed about disarming the nation first. Uh, first of all, what he would have used is what looks like America's using, disarming its state. Now, if you know that uh, enemy, so if your country you see as the enemy as arms and stuff, uh, firearms ownership rights and uh, you didn't want them to uh, rebel uh, in case uh, they saw knew your plans like uh, Sun Tzu did with his tactic first thing you would do is take away their rights by deception propaganda which he used uh, to the point they didn't realise now if I tie that to applicate to America and they say they're using those tactics uh, it would work well on them uh, as seen the gun control which tied to suspected false flag ops uh, would tell me a lot to say they're basically using the same one they're disarming the American citizens of their gun ownership rights, Second Amendment, uh, to the point that they're, uh, you know, they're fooled full to believe it's, uh, you know, people going on rampages. Uh, they have their gun ownership rights taken away. We tie to this martial law, militarized police, a uh, martial law order, which Obama's ordered. And uh, to me, that would say, you know, uh, it's a slow way of taking away their gun ownership rights, little by little, via media deception, propaganda terms, the same as Hitler used until they don't realise and it's too late for them to rebel or you know stand up for their rights and I realise I mean uh, say in the eyes of the American nation uh, the federal forces and the government itself they know if uh, people with gun ownership rights uh, knew what I suppose would be evil uh, what was going to be doing to done to them they know how they'd stand up uh, against a, a bad side in uh, like consequence those uh, american citizens uh, went up in arms because they knew the militarized police were basically uh, going to do b bad things to them they'd have to be uh, killed be killed uh, that's the way i'd see why they're doing it otherwise there's no other reason why and uh, to me you know it's a textbook uh, Rule uh, copying from Hitler's techniques, uh, they'd be using on uh, the American citizens via the Second Amendment to take away their gun rights via false flag operations to justify the reason to disarm them uh, state by state. And uh, the patterns show that it's not right, you know, people are popping up and going on rampages and they're tied to a MK Ultra gang stalking, which we'll follow on to. And uh, the next bit uh, as to say why. 
uh, like I said, uh, what ties back to what uh, looked like what Hitler had planned to do is basically uh, he was going to disarm, uh, take away his rights to the German people, even the right wing viewer, uh, fascist people. He said, you know, uh, he shared the same views with uh, to say, you know, I hate Jews as much as you did. And then what he would have done if, uh, if he had won is he would have uh, t dictated to uh, the uh, German right wing people, fascist, as much as the left wing. And uh, what he was using as a uh, Sun Tzu was uh, to make him, his enemies believe he shares the same views or is their ally. And then uh, as soon as they've uh, fought each other and divided and conquered, he turns around and says, I'm really your enemy as well. And uh, those fascist right wing Germans would have uh, been caught with a punch down and it would have been too late, which refers back to uh, taking away rights until, you know, they realise it's too late and they've been shut on. And uh, that was his tactic via deception. And now uh, we would have uh, shut on uh, Germany. Uh, left wing, right wing, whoever was there, uh, like I said, and all he was to use the deception, he shared the same views as the right wing Germans who hated the Jewish uh, via propaganda, uh, therefore to deceive them into believing his allies, uh, using maybe what was the higher majority of uh, right wing Germans uh, to win this, uh, what he was called of the eradication of Jewish uh, over there. And uh, like I said, only because how the war went, that's just how if he won, things would have been different. And uh, like I said, those right wing uh, brainwashed to believe shared the same views uh, would have been shut on. And uh, this was based on the same terms as Sun Tzu did. Sun Tzu's out of war was the out of deception. And he had uh, deceived his enemies when he conquered uh, Asia uh, to believe that they were his allies until they'd broken each other down. It was like the, uh, it was like the man with the knife behind his back shaking the hand saying, I'm your friend, I'm your ally, I hate your enemy as much as you do. Uh, like he said, and then uh, what? as soon as they break each other down uh, from a big uh, continent, he basically turned around when they were small enough to defeat himself and say, not really, you're all my enemy and uh, I've just de defeated you. Uh, that's how he used her uh, on his uh, basis of deception. And uh, like I said, it worked well for him. And it's obviously why Hitler applicated this to, uh, you know, against his own state, his own people, in terms of uh, why he used this. Now, uh, generals still use those rules, as far as I know, and they have been used because uh, the method doesn't, uh, you know, it's never broken, so why fix it? So therefore, I'd ask, you know, surely uh, this, these Hitler techniques are also working, even though he failed because of a war. But like I said, uh, what ties to America, gun control, false flag ops, is uh, to say, you know, they're, they're using that technique already. The ties to uh, George Bush, uh, what uh, Hitler used false flag ops to cause World War Two. Uh, via the Russians and stuff, uh, he caused a uh, Berlin building in Berlin or something, and uh, what went from there was a uh, false flag it discovered to be. Story. The war of terrorism has begun, and we must ask ourselves, has anything else like this ever happened in history? On February 27th, 1933, a fire began that ripped through the parliament building of Germany. The fire gutted the Reichstag building, and it was reported that a pro-communist anarchist founded the site, started the fire. The National Socialist German Workers Party, or what we now refer to as Nazis, quickly blamed the Communist Party and their political oppositions as terrorists. After the fire, Germany's president, Paul von Hildenberg, signed an emergency decree that gave Hitler almost emergency powers. Massive arrests soon took place. The media at the time, remember, was only newspaper and radio. This media helped spread the Nazis' anti-communist propaganda. The emergency elections were held on May 5th, 1933. With the Nazis having the majority of the seats, the Nazi-dominated Reichstag passed a law, quote, for the removal of distress from the people and the state on March 23rd, 1933. This law has been now called the Enabling Act because it enabled the German government to do what they needed to seek and destroy the terrorist opposition. The Enabling Act gave Adolf Hitler full dictatorial powers over the German people. They were enslaved and the Constitution was thrown out. Historical documents from Nazi archives now show that it was in fact Adolf Hitler's stormtroopers who had set the fire at the Reichstag. But with the media controlled by the Nazi government, this small but 
so important fact did not make it to the German people. Now, in a bi-weekly German Armed Forces magazine, Die Wehrmacht, from 1939, the claim was made that Poland had plans to invade Germany. This magazine article was the first to report on Nazi Germany's claim that Poland would overtake the country if the invasion of Poland was not preemptively stopped. Where have we heard that before? This article also makes the claim that Hitler was completely innocent and was only doing what he could to protect Germany. The following is a translation from that magazine's article. Because we were forced into invasion by England and their Polish allies, if the enemy had not begun to fight now, they would have within two or three years. England and France started the war in 1939 because they feared that in two or three years Germany would become stronger militarily and harder to defeat. England's claims roosted in the economic disparity between its home territory and its overseas possessions had to lead the English to react in bold and impudent ways in the face of some German people who under Adolf Hitler were developing their strength in unprecedented ways. Poland is the only remaining Slavic country in Eastern Europe. Rather than decrease the Polish hatred to ethnic Germans and of German-Polish peace, England did all within her power to feed the fire that was burning between Katowice and Danzig. Their goal was to use the situation to encourage a war with Germany. Rather than encourage Poland to accept our leader's generous proposal to resolve the situation, England encouraged them to lead the deadline pass, thereby providing a reason for war. Our leader felt morally obligated to strike back only after Polish troops had crossed the German border in several places. The German fight is a defensive fight. We fight because we were forced to fight. We are fighting for the most valuable possession, freedom. We are fighting for our lands, our skies, we are fighting so that our children will not be slaves to foreign rulers. We are fighting for Germany's freedom and for Germany's right to be a people that has all essentials to preserve its national existence. Our leader has made unprecedented offers for peace and understanding to those who are now fighting against us. His attempts were continuously rejected because they want this fight. We are fighting for a lasting peace we are fighting to save our children from the unbearable threats of Western democracies driven by envy and hatred. We are fighting for a happy future in a free Germany and a peaceful Europe. Now Hitler used this homeland or fatherland Germany and its protection to preemptively engage in war. And of course, the rest is history. But this is the same thing pulled from our headlines. Imagine this. We are fighting a lasting peace. We are fighting to save our children from the unbearable threats of terrorism, driven by envy and hatred. We are fighting for a happy future in a free United States and in a peaceful world. Ladies and gentlemen, history is repeating itself. We should all know by now, unless you're now just starting to get into this, and I strongly stress and the And they used the this. quote which uh, Bush also used, tied to 9-11, uh, suspect a false flag up. Uh, Bush used itself, just twisted the words around, uh, which tied to uh, gun control, uh, the textbook rules, all tied to uh, Hitler's techniques used, uh, tied to 9-11 America. And it shows that over that side, uh, they, they are using that uh, technique on their uh, citizens right now. And, uh, you know, it's something the American people need to know more of, uh, more in concerns of uh, not just uh, false flag ops and the seriousness behind uh, the gang stalking, uh, which we'll go into on the next one, uh, but being disarmed and a possible martial law. Like I was saying, if the American public are being brainwashed via media deception to believe uh, militarized police and military gear, uh, military armored vehicles looks normal, they need to ask themselves uh, as a whole population is that really normal? And uh, why did I have to justifiably use this uh, kind of, uh, in, you know, force for any reason? Unless, you know, it looks like um, martial law preparations. And uh, to me, it says a lot in those regards. You know, there's nothing more to it. 
uh, like I said, even having rights before in America, if they have had them recently, uh, which I did partially see over uh, the past few years, they've never used militarised police, armoured vehicles and what looked like National Guard style uh, police, you know, armoured grenade launchers and they're uh, all ties to uh, martial law preparation across America. Now you look at Thailand and if the American or the British people don't know much about that, basically the civilization over there is more peaceful than both nations. And if you saw the impact of the martial law and the uh, people of that country uh, from that uh, what was applied, uh, you see how much dictatorship quickly has uh, started over that nation. And there will be no different for America uh, if that's uh, put under martial law, which uh, Obama not long ago uh, administered into, uh, you know, action. As to say, you know, it can be uh, done any time. And it will tie back to as to why they're using gun control uh, to basically uh, tie to Hitler's technique to take away their rights. Uh, to conquer a nation, you have to disarm it, and uh, that are tied to taking away their rights uh, via deception to the point they realise it's too late, and uh, he basically shits in them. And uh, all these things tied to uh, George Bush 9 11, false flag up Hitler, uh, you know, all those things that tie, and it's saying that over there the American, uh, American government are using those amongst its citizens, uh, Hitler's textbook rules, uh, via uh, basically uh, dictating a nation uh, through uh, deception methods. And propaganda and I just want to dis uh, explain on that one like I said uh, the signs of uh, Britain although not uh, fully uh, to say you know it's near enough being done to Britain as well uh, you know we've got a right-wing party and uh, like I said uh, where how do you know it's not to say they are but how do you know that basically it's not being done the same I mean our media tabloids Daily Mail which is a right-wing uh, paper uh, stuff like that it's basically using right-wing propaganda immigration uh, to blame uh, for us uh, problems of the country and uh, you know Hitler used the same as the Jewish I know uh, the Jewish people uh, the German people who were fascist to say they were the problem with Germany and there is plan in the end was to shit on them and they turn around the go I don't really share your views and it's too late for you and that was what his plan was uh, tied to uh, the techniques I saw and uh, you don't know do you if you're a right wing I'm not as I said where people would assume as a talk off but what I'm trying to say to you, sometimes people make you believe they're your friend uh, by, you know, like uh, Sun Tzu and Hitler would have done. And then uh, when they turn around, they just shit on you. And it's a thing you take into consideration because this is where I tied from earlier was. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of right-wing people don't really care uh, about the important matter that uh, most likely 7-7 was false flag up. And uh, they look past that because they're more concerned about seeing people who aren't uh, white being killed and stuff in wars. Uh, just because they hate them but uh, maybe it would make you consider if you started to think to yourself that uh, if this technique is used on you uh, where you're believed to be important or share the same views as right wing and then martial laws are applied to Britain and you're being dictated to and shut on you know it might make you uh, turn around and think to yourself wait a minute I might consider uh, something otherwise it's like I said around this town when I mentioned 7-7 seven, seven, uh, being suspected false flag up all I noticed was a uh, vibe behaviour and stuff, a lot of right wing people uh, were showing me hatred looking past the matter of uh, what they said is uh, the country and our uh, people being killed there from their own government suspected and uh, like I was saying in regards if you're Paul Golden or something leader of uh, Britain First or Jada uh, whatever, whatever your name is now all you've got to realise if you were in London that day uh, where those things happened uh, it could have been you or your family and uh, what have you were cared then uh, you know, because it was uh, random people who were most likely killed in that uh, most likely uh, possible uh, false flag up. And uh, this is where it comes to making people feel important uh, when they really don't make them, uh, they don't really care. Uh, this is what ties to Akala and uh, the patriotism that they feed you, which is really nationalism. And it's via propaganda techniques which uh, Hitler used on the German people. Uh, he caused division, uh, divide and conquer, uh, left, right wing. Uh, between uh, both sides of uh, Germany uh, but at the same time you know he basically wanted to stab both in the back whether it was uh, you know the uh, left and right wing it was based on deception and making one side believe he was on their side and then he basically shut on them and I'm just trying to get this free to people and uh, take it into consideration I mean there's a lot of things behind uh, what's going on and uh, what this is what I was saying in regards of uh, let's just say this now uh, some people are sensibly sceptical in regards to this stuff but uh, regarding the chemtrails videos and uh, what's proved behind them 
whoever's actually running the world, which they say is really this some kind of shadow elite government. Do you think they care about anyone, whoever you are, what colour you are, what wing you are? You know, when they're spraying chemicals, which are most likely poisonous over your towns, uh, you're, you're breathing and everyone is. You know, the kind of people who run the world. Because uh, to me, in my opinion, people who spray, you know, stuff which was known to be anthrax and E. coli <coughs> back in the 60s over Britain, uh, you know, the kind of people who uh, don't really care about people in general, uh, you know, to do that, in my opinion. I mean, if you look at, if you haven't saw on the new state side, the anthrax attacks, what they were, uh, this is very deadly stuff and it kills very quickly. And uh, this stuff was uh, the same type, same type of stuff being sprayed over Britain, uh, northwest to uh, northeast to southwest, uh, 50s, 60s. And uh, like I said, uh, this ties to the most uh, possibility what they're spraying over the, over the world right now, uh, which has been uh, investigated as uh, most likely poisons as well, uranium and stuff. And uh, that tells me the kind of people running our world, uh, they don't care about us. And uh, like I said, that's being sprayed over Britain. And uh, the people who are in charge of uh, can choose that. Are the same people who are telling you you're important uh, if you're right wing. Or at the same time they're saying left wing important. They're saying everyone's equal. But in my opinion, they don't care about who you are, no matter what your colour. And uh, like I said, uh, if it, it helps pe wake, wake people up, even if you uh, don't like me and I uh, don't really like you much for our views, you know, left or right wing. All I know is it's awareness and uh, for well-being of everyone, uh, no matter who you are and no matter what your opinions are, as much as mine. Uh, but uh, like I said, it all ties to deception techniques and America's showing more in uh, terms of uh, art of deception and uh, what his textbook rules were to over for overthrow a nation. I mean, uh, like I said, if you uh, type in Google quotes, uh, Hitler Google quotes, you'll see quotes. But if you uh, find it as a textbook, like uh, if you Google Sun Tzu's Out of War and uh, read through that, it's like a textbook guide for generals to use deception to defeat bigger armies. And if you can probably find that as uh, Hitler's, it won't show as quotes on Google, but it'll be show like a textbook documentation. Uh, just differently applied from uh, Sun Tzu's Out of War and it was based on uh, making his enemies believe friends are friends when they're all enemies in his eye until he can overthrow them all and uh, his points uh, no, no ever further than overthrowing his own country and his own people no matter who they are and uh, like I said it's definitely showing stateside and uh, like I said what ties to saying it's being used in Britain first of all it's, uh, it's like uh, fascism tied to immigration and stuff and uh, this was what Hitler used, and uh, what he used against people of uh, Germany. Therefore, could it not be applied to uh, Britain in terms of their using fascism, fascism against people who are uh, said to be immigrants and stuff, in a way, you know, they could be overthrown as a whole of a nation. And uh, what ties to what he used as propaganda against Germany was, uh, he said, uh, the forms of propaganda is to make a wretched life feel like it's better, basically like heaven, when it's basically like shit. And uh, he was using that application on his own people, Germany, and where he'd make the uh, right wing and left wing and anyone else in that country believe it was a nicer life than they were being uh, threatened, being shot on. And all I know is in Britain, this is why psychology wise, Dr. Phil wise, to say, you know, people in this country, you know, they uh, go around believing they're important because they contribute money and stuff and all this taxes stuff. But at the same time, when I speak to people, even people who work, uh, they show they're not as happy and they feel like their lives are wretched because they're always upset about tax or how they're being treated. And uh, this will tie again to uh, Hitler's propaganda techniques tied to fascism, tied to fascism in uh, Daily Mail or a lot of uh, papers uh, which are using the same fascism, but not in Jewish, but uh, Muslim, uh, Polish, etc. Eastern Europe. And, uh, you know, as I said, what he planned to do to Germany was throw over everyone. And uh, what ties to Margaret Thatcher and uh, where she condemned, uh, you know, the uh, power to the people. Uh, she basically was saying on what she mentioned, uh, she doesn't like the fact that uh, the, in a country of a uh, democracy where people have rights to uh, be socialist, and uh, she'd rather that the power went to the uh, state, or, you know, power to the uh, government, uh, her party. And, uh, you know, that showed me a lot about her, uh, Margaret Thatcher, uh, if she actually believed that in herself, uh, like I said. It was near enough uh, what Hitler saw in his eyes was uh, because he didn't want power or democracy in Germany and he used deception uh, using fascism and a Nazi regime to lead those German people into believe that he shared the same views of uh, being anti-Jewish 
but at the same time all he wanted to do is uh, basically have a world view and dictate to the whole country and I would take that into consideration you know British side and American side where they also have right wing as I said I'm uh, I'm in the middle I'm not even left wing I'm uh, I'm just a human and uh, like I said I'm pro human but I always be anti uh, you know anti uh, racist and stuff or anti evil because I'm such a goody two shoes and the sun shines out my ass uh, but like I said all I know is uh, what I'm trying to put across is uh, these techniques are still being used Hitler's textbook uh, what he used to overthrow a nation on America and Britain and uh, like I said uh, it ties to the fact that if you're actually right wing and you believe you know that with your clouded of emotion of hatred towards people who aren't white or British uh, that you're most likely going to be shut on as much especially America side which is showing more signs and you're being blinded with the emotion of uh, patriotism nationalism to make you feel important tied to Hitler's uh, using propaganda which would be media to make their lives feel like they're important or their lives uh, which are wretched around as bad as it seems but what's really going in is they're being shut on and being uh, trapped with a wretched life and uh, like I said I would take those things into consideration and uh, never believe things that you're told I mean, uh, like I said it's an application method same as problem reaction solution uh, which uh, Hitler used uh, to cause a false flag up on a building he set on fire uh, the Third Reich or whatever and it caused a spark between Russia and the Soviet Union and uh, that's caused World War II and what went from there now that application is still being used because it doesn't it's not broken so why fix it in terms of a uh, suspected false flag ops tied to 9-11-7-7 therefore uh, Hitler's uh, tactics uh, what he used again tied to what he also used uh, most likely being used in where like I said he didn't win because of uh, Britain, Russia, uh, UK, uh, USA but if he did it would have been different and therefore they still would have worked and not broken same as Sun Tzu's out of war, uh, which is, is still being used uh, via armies and generals uh, these days because, again, they have not broken, so they don't need to be fixed. And uh, just take those into consideration. Because, as I said, uh, if you're shut on and uh, you find out that you're clouded of emotion because you were uh, clouded with uh, propaganda to say, blame immigrants, blame this, blame that, I was into the equation, you make a mistake. Lay and off it, that stuff. Why? Because it clouds your judgment. Not now, it's not the time. Uh, my judgment. Uh, that's a good one. I'm a fool. A drunken fool. Nico's here. We're going to go take care of that guy. I take it you won't be joining us? Make him suffer. People forget pain so quickly. You need to calm down with that stuff. Come. Why? So I can be like you, Mr. Barbecue. Always so fucked up on painkillers. You don't give a shit. You need to calm down. <laughs> Where would we be now if I was calm like you? Let me guess. In a prison camp in Siberia. Or selling hash to tourists in Red Square. Or still in the Navy. Which is it today? Be careful, Dimitri. Be fucking careful. You be careful. You're getting crazy. That's the way it works. I am angry. You are calm. I scare you reason. It works. Yes, but you've angered the wrong people. Blah, blah, too many blah, bodies, blah, too much blah, attention blah, blah, will be blah. dealt with if we don't start playing by the rules. I've angered people. Me? Not we. Strange. When I give out the money, it's us. When I have to push people, it's me. All alone. Don't think I cannot see through you. After all we've done together. You're getting delusional. Look, we have to go. I fucking love you. Yes, yes. I fucking love you. I know. Yes. Yeah. But you treat me like a child. I run things my way. Dimitri Raskolov, my fucking way! Get out of my sight! Or I fucking kill you! 
I'm not saying don't run things your way. I'm saying be calm. Here. Take a couple of these. What are you still doing here? I said get out of my side! Something we need to talk about. Okay, yeah. you can have your out the Katrina. Come on. <laughs> Not Come that. Here. Private. <laughs> Girls, That's can you give us a minute, huh? Please. Okay. Oh, get out of here. I see. Keep it warm. I won't be too long. So, what is it? We've got police trouble. The feds or someone are all over us. Sergei told me that a friend of his in the courts told him they've been authorized to tap our phones and they know about the pot we stole. Shit. Who is the rat? It's no one. It's just the way we've been behaving. Making too much noise. This was inevitable. We're going to have to calm things right down for a while. It's that fucking guy, yeah. I know it is. I saw it in his eyes, you know? That guy, that guy who bought the coke, but he didn't buy the That's pot. That's Lenny, he's my cousin's boyfriend, it's not him. Yes, he's a moron, yes, but he's okay. I don't trust him. What, I just told you. He knows too much. Oh. You, get him. Are you sure? Sure? No, I'm not. Right now I'm wondering if it's him or you. It could be you. Think for a second. This has been going on for months. Think. Look where your thinking has gone. Those words of wisdom were tied back to Dimitri and uh, Mikhail GTA 4 uh, really show good examples applicated. It's like a fuck up that you make uh, when emotions are involved. You know, a uh, clouded emotion of uh, revenge and hatred uh, Mikhail has on that game. And he ends up uh, messing things up for himself. Now, via propaganda, uh, using fascism and hatred of your hateful views, uh, right-wing views, we cloud your emotions based on the importance of the matter of uh, a lot of things that are being spoken on the side of, uh, you know, people like me, say. And uh, like I said, say if uh, you're being clouded with our uh, immigrants' fault, you know, we can get rid of immigrants for you if you uh, vote out the EU referendum and are bringing this old act. Again, you know, uh, you're just too focused on wanting this to get rid of immigrants, which you'll go on from. And then uh, your rights are taken away, rights, all those human rights. Uh, same as 7-7, people in the right wing are so clouded with uh, more bloodlust for the killing of people who aren't British. They look past the matter that uh, people of uh, Britain were most likely killed in 7-7 by their own government genocide. Uh, because again, the propaganda of uh, calling immigration or stuff, or saying it, it was people who weren't, what British who ever did it and uh, that makes you look past and uh, this is what Hitler did the same in regards of uh, trying to uh, lead his nation you know that emotion psychologically wise he could uh, lead those people uh, into uh, their own fate and uh, like I said uh, it's being used more than you imagine it's like uh, when people say propaganda uh, what they don't realize is they think oh it's just like posters like uh, America, I want you, US Army, or the uh, King George posters, World War II. But media, uh, I, you know, tabloids are propaganda as well. Uh, they're another thing you uh, need to Google yourself. Do your research if you don't believe me, as I said. I know you'll find they are as well. I know this is what Hitler used as well, via his propaganda tabloids to uh, do what he did. And uh, like I said, uh, on the other videos, there are signs of uh, martial law preparations more over America's side tied to uh, what this World War III uh, most likely will be and uh, what would be a worldwide martial law tied to uh, most likely Britain being the second to be overthrown and uh, both countries are showing signs of uh, overthrown uh, citizens more than uh, other governments or countries are in ties of textbook rules of uh, the British government and uh, the American government and as I said uh, the signs are showing and uh, I'll keep that as short as possible but uh, as I said I would take into consideration the open possibility because it's not, as I said, it's on behalf of everyone, even if you are from over offshores or whatever, and that you're visiting. And uh, like I said, uh, I condemn because of morality and stuff without using self sarcasm, because uh, I condemn, uh, you know, uh, corruption. But uh, as I said, some people are brainwashed to look past uh, those important matters if they have emotions used against them, which can cloud their judgment.